Well, hello, my fellow Carl models. How are you doing today? Hey, haven't done a vlog in a long time because really nothing's ticked me off to have me blow my face off. This is probably going to get some people mad. I know it is. I better take a hit of cold coffee here before I begin. Oh, man. That's, that's what fuels the channel, I'll tell you. All right, before I begin, this is something that I read on the Facebook groups. And just recently, there was another post about this on the Model Car Hobby Headquarters Facebook group. Join if you haven't. A lot of great contact there. And discussions are great. And I don't have one issue with this discussion going on. I would never sit there and block it or stop it, even though I disagree with it. I really disagree. I even post on there of my disagreements on this. Anyways, there are just some things that go around that I personally feel send a negative vibe down the hobby. And it might point some people in a direction that they would normally not go by reading this when if they would go, they'd find it would all work out fine. Anyways, let's let's get into the subject. This is about crappy model kits. Opinions of crappy model kits. Junky model kits. Kits that you pay a lot of money for. Yes, I understand. And you get them home and they're just not what you think they're going to be. And it might not be so much to the fault of the person who is felt wronged by said companies. Sometimes they just don't understand or don't know. And I want to really kind of more go in that direction. We all know about round two AMT MPC. Personally, with round two, they came onto the scene and they, if you don't realize this, I can't, this had to be about 10, 15 years ago. They came on the scene, they rescued the AMT kits, MPC kits, Polar Light kits, all these kit companies. They bought them all up and combined it all into round two. You guys don't realize they did us a huge favor because this stuff was almost gone, extinct, never to be seen again. And they snagged it. And we still have AMT and we still have MPC kits and we still have Polar Light kits. Whether they're good or they're bad, who cares? We've got them. And you've got to think that. And it costs money to keep these things going and they do their best. And I, I think round two is doing an outstanding job for the hobby. They, they're they excited individuals. They have a YouTube channel. I highly recommend you checking it out. They put out every month something of all the, all the things that they're gonna be coming out with that month. They have a real excitement. And I'll tell you what, these are car guys that run in this thing. They even start the video off with one of the, I think, I don't know, one of the head guys pulling up in his classic Mustang. They are excited about this stuff. I've talked to them in the past. They are truly excited and love the hobby. So what they're doing is they're taking these old kits that you've got to remember. Like, I'm going to say for an example, so you'll know what I'm talking about, you guys out there, if you're on the uh, Facebook group, is the 70 GTO. There was a complaint about that. That 70 GTO was put out in 1970, okay? They didn't make kits as nice as they can produce them today. They created that kit mainly as a dealership promotional and a thing to kind of promote the, the cars and also get the young kids involved and excited in cars. Things were just made a lot simpler because of the technology and because, yes, it was aimed towards kids to build. These molds get old and tired. They do what they can to keep them up. And as a year goes on, you start to get more flash. Who cares, man? You cut that up. That's a part of model building, first of all. You're gonna have that in old tooling. You're also gonna have parts that don't fit so well over the years. One thing I will agree, and I have voiced this to um, round two back in the early days because they were insistent on molding their cars in colored plastic. And I literally called them, or I said something on the internet, I can't remember, it's a long time ago, and they contacted me. And I spoke to one of their, I don't even know who it was. We had a great conversation and their view was at that time they wanted to aim towards the kids. You guys keep crying about that. You want the kids involved, right? I kept saying, it isn't kids who are buying this. It is adult model builders and they don't like dealing with colored plastic. It's going to affect your sales. And guess what? Over the years, they did a little bit of that. I'm getting ahead of myself. They said to me, that, uh, well, we want to give this a try, and we are planning on putting out um, models in neutral colors, too. We understand the, the viewpoint of, of adult modelers. And they listen. They probably heard it from a lot of people. They heard the complaints. But they still do that every once in a while trying to go after the kids. Okay, you know what? 
I'm fine with it because they're putting the models out. I'd rather have that. I remember like in those early days, one of the early ones they put out, I got a row right here, you see that? Of 66 Novas, but almost every version that came out over the years from the original one. I love that kit, that's why I have so many. And I felt like I needed another one. And they came out with this one and it was freaking molded in blue. And I was outraged, yes. But I didn't bash them. At least they had it because the kit was gone for a while. And I'm going, you know what? Fine, I needed another one. It's molded in blue. It's molded in blue, I'll paint it. I'll figure out a way. If it leaches through, I'll figure out a way. There's all ways to get through this. The thing about fitting and all that with the older ones, especially the, as they get like, were originally tooled in the 60s and 70s, we're gonna have fitment issues. We're gonna have not quite accuracy issues. They didn't have the computers and the, 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 the molecular contraptions, engineered uh, robotic things that you got, did lasers. They didn't have that stuff. They just did it off of photographs and plans and we got what we got. Listen, this is what's gonna happen. All these models are never gonna be tooled again. Not everyone, maybe they will, maybe they will, but to continue on with this hobby and if they wanna get younger people, which not so much kids, but now we're talking about guys in their 30s. Well, guys in their 30s and 40s were into cars in the 80s. So like, that's why they come out with the 88 Mustang GT. You know, that's going to attract more of the newer middle-aged guys coming in. Because that's really who's in this hobby. It's not kids. Kids are not going to be into this. You know, we got to face that. Not worry about it. The chances of the older kits getting totally uh, invest into new tooling is really slim to none if they're really, really popular model. It's just not going to happen. It really isn't, you know. And, and you know, I, I was really surprised when Ravel came out with the 68 Chevelle and now they're going to come out with the 69 version. That, that, that was, that's awesome. Man, that was cool. I didn't expect that, but the chances of a 70 GTO coming out, any GTO really, I don't think we're going to ever see a new tool of those. They've all been done. They can repurpose them. What's the point? I'd rather have those and I would think you would, if you want to build a 70 GTO, if you want to build a 67 GTO, if you want to build, what, what do we got over here? Let me take some examples here that are, you know, I don't, I don't know. I got them all over there so I can build them. I'd rather have them to build than not have them at all. That's my saying. Unfortunately, you're going to pay the price for them because that's what kits go for. Cause that's what they need to make to be able to one, get their monies out of their, their work. Hobby shops need to make money. I'm, I'm really sorry. They do. And we're all crying that all the hobby shops are closed and we got to go online. And now it used to be, you go online, you can get them so much cheaper and you're not seeing that so much anymore because I see online prices just as much as when I go to Andy's Hobby Headquarters. Andy's Hobby Headquarters, by the way, you can get, get shirts. And when I, when I set, get over there, you know, he has them on, on his shelves for about the same price they go for on the, on the internet. Maybe the internet might be a little bit low, but you're gonna have to pay for shipping, so it, it boosts it even more. I know a lot of you guys don't have the access to a hobby shop like I do, so you're stuck with the internet. So the internet at one time was our saviors at getting that stuff cheap, but they did what they wanted to do. They knocked the little stores out. Now you have to go to them and their prices went up. You see how that works? It's called capitalism. That evil capitalism. That's for another vlog. Back to what I was saying about these old kits is please guys, just understand, if you wanna build these old models, they've been done, they're old, they're taking a crack at it and repurposing, why do you wanna shoot them right in the face for doing something for you, you know? They said, hey, these guys want this kit. They did the kit. You tell them, you guys suck for doing this kit so badly. And they're gonna go, you know what? We're not gonna pull any of these old kits at any, out anymore. We're not gonna do them. We'll do some of the newer ones, some of the boring ones. Maybe we'll start, which, which they are, they're starting to lean into retooling new stuff. And if they lean into retooling new stuff, they're going to do market research. And market research says, well, we need to do some 80s cars. We might need to do some 90s cars because the builders that are coming up now, those are their classic cars. Like we love the 
the 69 Camaro, the 69 GTO, the 69, I keep saying 69, I just love that year, it was a great year. I had a 69 Cutlass, and they did a 69 Cutlass. 69 Mustang, you know, you see what I'm saying? That's because us guys that are in our 50s, maybe late 40s, those are the cars we had in high school. Those are the cars that are available and cheap. Well, these guys coming up in their 30s and maybe hitting 40, they're the new modelers coming in. Their cars were 88 Mustang GT, 86 Monte Carlos, 80s Camaros and Trans Ams, Firebirds, whatever. That's what we'll start seeing more of, which uh, hint, hint to round two, repurpose, bust out whatever it takes, 85 from, I believe, let me see, I got one up here, but MPC did a really, really cool um, version of the 85 IROC. Do that one again, please. I just saw one on eBay for nutty, nutty prices, and I want another one. I really want another one. It's a cool kit. And 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 we don't even have to get into the Trans Ams because we already know, oh my God, we've got to have those Trans Ams. You, you hear me, round two? Do you have those? Do you have those toolings? Put those back out. Those are cool cars. And those are the ones that are going to sell over the old muscle cars. The, the, the old muscle cars are not as much of an interest. I'm sorry, guys. We're getting older. Live with it. The newer guys are coming in. The young guys, those young whippersnapper 30-year-olds, they want the 80s cars. It's how it works. So you're not going to see another 70 GTO. It's a 72, Tommy. You are going to see a 70 Camaro. Basically, the 70 Camaro they have, they're kind of redoing it and making a, you know, the, what I call the standard nose. Everybody calls it the, the, the full bumper. But, you know, I, whatever. We're not going to get into that. I was an old Camaro guy and I hated the term split bumper, full bumper. You had your, your rally bump nose with the bumperettes. You had your standard nose with a, full long cross bumper and there was a reason for that i'm not going to get into this who cares we can talk about that some other time i'm again you know i'm vlogging so my mind's going my face is blowing off and i'm making everyone mad but that's why i put the the warning in the beginning you saw the warning right don't start shooting me down all right guys i'm calm i want i said what i wanted to say it's just it's a quick one i'm gonna punch this out i got no models to show you i got i just want to talk about the hobby i love doing this i haven't done a vlog in a while talking about the hobby you know let's discuss put comments down below i i want to hear your opinions if you think i'm a jerk for saying this tell me i'm a jerk for saying this i'll completely ignore you don't worry about it everything will be fine yeah you know it's fun hey don't forget we've got uh, the the cool cold coffee mug at the Teespring store. I want to thank my Patreons. Let me get out of the way. This uh, Do I want to get out of the way here and look at my Patreon list? You guys are awesome. Thanks a bunch. It's helping the channel. I'm really working hard on the channel. I'm trying to take every moment I have from work to do this. I have got some great plans coming for the future of this channel and what's going to branch off of it. I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to help me bring even more to you because I, I get so many ideas from you guys. You got to know when you put a comment down, you know I read them. You see me doing a little heart all over. They, they have a, put a heart when you, you respond, whatever. Subscribe if you haven't. Go over to the Facebook group, Model Car Hobby Headquarters Facebook group. Get on there. There's a bunch of great guys. And, you know, you guys who were complaining about the round two kits, um, you know, I'm not mad at you. I think you guys are awesome. You, you, uh, and personally, the guy who was talking about, I'm sorry, I, I don't have your name right here. I, I, my phone's doing something else, so I can't look it up. But, but you know who you are. That, that model was cool looking. You did a great job with it, no matter how much hard. That's the thing. You, 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 you did it. You built the damn. You did better than me. I don't finish nothing. Obviously, from my last model, uh, uh, my last video, you see, I don't finish nothing. Well, you finished it. Hey, you get the model car hobby clicks with uh, two thumbs up. I don't know. This is new. I, I, I do it all the time. But hey, that's the model car hobby thing. We all do this, right? Maybe we'll make a t-shirt. What do you think? Hey, thanks a lot for listening to me. This was fun, actually. This turned out to be fun. Hey, you guys go out and build model cars. Why? Why? Because they're fun. Have fun. We'll talk to you later.